Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We're so glad that you could be here today. We are studying God's Word and uh, looking at God's Word, which is life to all who find them and health to all their flesh. So God's Word is like an antidote. Antidote to anything that is toxic, an antidote to anything that could create, uh, that could be damaging in the life of a believer. So we're going to look at um, something uh, which, is, uh, which is a problem in the life of a believer and how God's word can be an antidote to that. So we're going to look, in, look at this aspect of carnality or fleshly living or fleshly thinking, which is a problem for a believer. Because God wants us to be spiritual, God wants us to be spiritually minded and not carnally minded. So to be carnally minded is enmity against God, as the word of God says. To be carnally minded leads to carnal action, carnal imagination. And uh, it's, a, it's frustrating for the, for the believer because the believer knows as a Christian, you know, you're capable of so much more. Uh, your, your inheritance is so much more. And you know it's all there in the word, instructed in the word, but your experience is so falling short of it. And the, uh, the reason being carnality. So God's word has an antidote for carnality. Right? Um, this is what we read in uh, Romans chapter 8 and verse 13. It says, But if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. Galatians 5 and verse 16 says, I say then, walk in the Spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So what is the antidote here? The antidote is that by the Spirit of God, by the prompting, the instructing, the empowering of the Holy Spirit, we need to take some action. Okay. So instead of giving in to the prompting of the flesh, instead of giving in to the leading of fleshly appetites, we are to uh, obey the prompting of the Spirit and put to death, which means bring to an end the deeds of the body. So that's the first thing to bring to an end, to put to death the deeds of the body. And the word of God says that we will live if you put to death, which means the responsibility is ours. The second thing we, we saw in Galatians 5 verse 16 is that when we walk in the spirit, we will not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. Now it's, a, it's a wonderful promise. It's an wonder, and, and an amazing instruction that walk in the spirit. So for those of us who are struggling with fleshly thoughts and fleshly actions and, and carnality, here's the antidote, walk in the spirit, which means let your, you know, live your life regulated by the Holy Spirit. Let your life be regulated, let your conduct be regulated and uh, prompted and guided by the Holy Spirit. Now when we live such a life, our experience will not be carnality, but it will be life and peace. So we see that we will live, we will bring an end to carnality. We will walk in the Spirit. And as we do so, we will experience the freedom, we will experience the joy of the Lord, we will experience the peace of the Lord. Right? So let's pray even as we apply this truth in, um, in today in, in our lives. Let's pray that we will experience the truth of this Word. Father, we thank you for the truth here. For the antidote that your word is against all forms of carnality. And we pray, God, that we will walk in the spirit, and therefore not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Oh God, we pray, oh Father God, that um, we will bring an end if by the spirit, your word says. So even as your Holy Spirit leads us, even as we bring an end to the deeds of the body, we put to death the deeds of the body. We know that we will experience life. And I just pray that each one of us listening to this will experience that life and walk in that freedom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.